Here we go. This is Smokin' Joe Foreign and the KB-3 Gyrocopter. And now you know why we call him Smokin' Joe. He's got an unbelievable smoke system on it. Now keep your eyes on it. You will notice that he's sinking a little bit there. You can do this. He's under full control here. Now one of the advantages of the Gyrocopter, unlike an airplane, the rotor blades on this gyrocopter, as long as they are turning, they are always generating lift. This baby will not stall like a fixed-wing airplane will. And also, the big difference between this and a helicopter is that the rotor blade on this does not have power on it right now. The helicopter's got all that pyro, or power on it, rather. Whereas the gyrocopter is strictly spinning those blades just by the air moving through it. And by the way, if you're wondering about that smoke system, if you look underneath the engine, you'll see a big black object. That's his smoke tank. As you can see, he's got that thing screaming up there. Now these main blades, they're like a beanie. You remember those old propeller beanies? How the wind blows and they spin? Well, that's what makes this baby fly. And the beautiful part about it is that if the engine should ever decide to pack it in, and we all know that they do every once in a while. It's not a big deal. Joe just sets up for a landing, which he's going to demonstrate in a little bit. He's going to show you how little space it takes to land the Ken Brock KV-3 gyroplane. Now, he's got about 65 horsepower on board this thing, and he's up there climbing for altitude. Going to demonstrate a couple of hard turns here, I believe he was going to do. Now, for the record, Amelia A. Earhart took it up to about 18,000 feet. That's unofficial. Joe has taken this particular aircraft to 13,500 feet. That's a lot of altitude, but what a view. By the way, he tells me the air conditioning in this works pretty good, too. So he's up there. He's going to gain some altitude here. And what we're going to be looking for, or what we're going to be listening for, is for him to pull the power back a little bit. And by the way, Joe is sitting on the gas tank. It's a molded tank, and it's actually the seat of this Ken Brock KB-3 gyrocopter. There's the throttle pull. Now he's going to do spiral descents. Kicks the rudder one way, and it's spinning to the left right now. By the way, Joe is in full control. This is a perfectly legitimate maneuver. You are not doing anything out of the ordinary on his gyrocopter. Now he's going to kick the rudder the other way and bring her back around for us here. Uh, one of the things you must be aware of is that when you're flying this aircraft, please do not smile. Those of you who are motorcycle riders who do not have a full face helmet with a shield on it, you know why. It's the New Jersey State Bird, the Mosquito. You'll end up eating a bunch of them. Now, if you're wondering about Joe's ratings, oh my God, you ought to see this. He's got a commercial pilot rating as he's coming around from the left. Airplane, single engine land, rotorcraft, gyroplane, glider, aero tow, uh, then lighter than air free balloon. So he's got qualifications coming out of his eyeballs as he brings this KB-3 back around here. They're not going to do a lot of speed with this. You're going to do about 55 uh, maybe 60 mile an hour top end if you really push it. Here comes that power cut. Now he's just pulled the throttle back a little bit there. This thing has an amazing speed range. Once again, it's that rotor blade on the top of it. No power, it's in auto rotation. If you've ever seen those maple seeds spin down in the fall, well, this baby flies on the same principles. Now he's buzzing out there. You know he's got a big smile on his face. That Rotax engine is up there cranking out. It's a 582cc two-cycle, twin-cylinder engine. Water-cooled, by the way. And here he comes. He's got the power back. Let's keep an eye on this. Smoke and Joe, back on the power again. He said he was going to do a couple of passes here. He's going to try high speed, and which that probably is right now. And he was also saying he might do some low speed passes as well. Now, I gotta tell you, that looks like an awful lot of fun up there. 
Here comes that throttle pull again. He's back on the power. Going to slow her down a little bit. Hello, everybody. Let's wave at Joe up there. Smoking Joe Boren. Tells me he has to turn the radio up real loud to hear his music. By the way, this is a commercially available kit aircraft. You can buy one of these and you assemble it in your own garage. One of the many variety of home-built aircraft that have become very popular in the past 15 years in general aviation. And as usual, with all kinds of flying, you should definitely get some pilot training when you step into a gyrocopter. You just don't buy this thing and go out and fly it. No, it's good to get a little bit of training with an experienced instructor. And now Joe's up there sending smoke signals. I believe the message was, when I land, I will need beer. So here he comes around from the left, ladies and gentlemen. The throttle is back. He's bringing her down, getting ready to set up for his landing. Keep your eyes on this landing roll. This, air, this aircraft can be set down just about anywhere. There it is. A roll of what, 10 feet? Joe tells me pretty much that if he's got enough room for the rotor blades, he can set this thing.